Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's Infosys interview experience that happened on 8th March 2022. That is today only. Guys, this is the fifth interview experiences of Infosys that I am posting on this channel in this month because a lot of Infosys interviews are going on, and I want you guys to keep get, get keep updated that what are the type of questions which are getting asked in these kind of interviews. So guys, if you have not subscribed to channel now, please subscribe it because regularly such videos are getting posted on my channel. Previously, also many Infosys interview experiences have been posted on my channel. I will give you the link of that playlist in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit it and do check out the latest five videos of Infosys interview experiences that happened this month only because many of the questions remain same only. And you can, if you are lucky, then all the questions will be repeated on your interviews. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was 8th March 2022, that is today only. The branch of my friend was CSC. The duration of the entire interview was 20 minutes. Now, first question, as you all know from previous videos, I have telling you that this will be your first question, that is introduce yourself. Kindly make your answer brief and up to one minute you can explain yourself to the interviewer. This is a very important question because by this answer, <coughs> the interviewer will know that what you have done in your college life and what are your skills and what are your favorite thing that you, that you like to do so kindly make sure to prepare this question very well for the interview point of view so i hope this question is clear to you next is tell me about the features of object oriented programming and the real world example of each feature so guys this feature is similar to the four pillars of hoops that is abstraction polymorphism inheritance encapsulation so all these things you will have to explain to the interviewer and plus you will have to give the real life example for every feature so guys for this purpose this question is very common for this purpose only i have made a separate video of this question on my channel wherein i have explained step by step that how you will have to explain each feature to the interviewer and what are the real life example of that feature so kindly make sure to visit that video this that video will be very helpful for you the link you will find in the description box next is what is the difference between null and void so guys uh, telling in one line, we all know that null means that uh, uh, a particular pointer is pointing to nothing, that it is pointing to the null address, that is that pointing uh, pointer is pointing to nothing. But what is a void? Void is a return type. You must have seen that you have written void then function name. So it means that that function does not re uh, return anything. So this is the meaning of void. But null means that uh, a particular pointer is pointing to a uh, empty memory or uh, a null memory. So I hope this question is clear to you. If you want to read the difference in detail, again, I will give you this link in the description box. <clears throat> okay, moving to the next question. What is the difference between agile and waterfall models in software engineering? So guys, software engineering are generally asked, questions related to software engineering are generally asked in the interviews, uh, but all the questions are related to the models only. So there are four to five models in software engineering. So kindly make sure that you visit through the all the models and get a better, better uh, get a basic understanding of each of the model. So first of all, agile model. Agile model follows the incremental approach, whereas the waterfall model follows the sequential approach. So this is a major difference between agile model and waterfall model. That agile model is like a for loop; it follows the incremental ap approach, and waterfall model is a sequential mo uh, mo model. That is, once one step is over, then the next step will begin. Uh, in agile, the team is smaller as compared to the waterfall model. So these are the two major differences between these two models. So whenever a difference is asked from you in an interview, make sure to give at least two points of difference. So I hope this question is clear to you. <clears throat> Next question is what are the acid properties in DBMS? So acid properties are for A, A stands for atomicity, C stands for consistency, I stands for isolation, D, uh, D stands for durability. So these are the name of the four properties. You can simply Google them if you want to know the definition of each of the property in detail. Because in the interview also, you will have to explain each of these property in detail to the interviewer. So I hope this question is also clear to you. Try to get these definitions from the Google point of view. Uh, because I'm in these videos, I generally try to give the questions which are getting asked. So the video will become very long if I try to give answer for every question. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Next is again a very basic question that is different between DDL and DML commands. So first of all, you must know that uh, the, what is the full form of DDL and DML. DDL stands for data definition language. DML stands for data manipulation language. Now there are basic commands of DDL are create, drop, alter, truncate. Whereas the basic commands of DML are 
update insert delete so these are the basic commands now detail commands uh, it uh, detail commands are used to create database schema and can be used to define some constraints as well so how many columns a table will have what type of values a particular column will have so these are all decided by the detail command <clears throat> but dml command is data, data manipulation language uh, data manipulation command that is they are generally used to insert the data retrieve the data or update the data so i hope these commands are clear to you these are very important commands and you must know about them <clears throat> okay now moving to the next question there were two coding questions were also asked in this interview the interview uh, the uh, interview was uh, asked to share the screen and saw and write the code for the same so first is print the average of n numbers so for your for your reference i have written the code for this following thing that is what is this uh, average of n numbers first n natural numbers so this is the code for the same so i hope this is clear to you you can take this screenshot for the same okay now the next question was again a basic coding question that is the uh, you will have to tell the logic of fibonacci series so again i have written i have written the logic for you you can simply take this screenshot for the same now again there are some basic coding questions like fibonacci series there uh, whether a number is prime or not uh, gcd of a number factorial of a number these are very commonly asked coding question in these type of com companies so make sure that if you are preparing for the interviews to go through these questions as well so for your reference you can simply take this screenshot of this particular question and this was the last question of this video so as you must know that since it was a csc interview so all the questions were related to technical things only but again if you are from ec branch or some other branch there can be some uh, course related questions also like what is uh, amplifier these type of questions can also be asked from you based on your demands or based on your branch so kindly prepare your core branch subjects very well as well as the basic oops dbms will do uh, good for the interview so again the interview was not too long it was only 20 minutes so i hope all the questions are clear to you and if you want to know more such questions please visit my channel and watch all the interview experiences of infosys or any other company that you are preparing for and guys do share this channel with your friends and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed it till now thank you for watching the video